This video is sponsored by this unicorn. And if you're curious as to why a unicorn sponsoring videos, find out at the end of this one. Just when you thought Apple was perhaps all done releasing products for 2023, we get a nice little power on bombshell from Mark Gurman this past Sunday saying that Apple is planning a Mac centered product launch around the end of this month. And with that new launch, could include a refreshed 24 inch iMac, which is actually the current long overdue piece of hardware that Apple definitely needs to update because it's running an M1 chip. And it's the only current generation Mac left that is running an M1 chip. Now, German has repeatedly said that Apple's next iMac will skip the M2 and feature the M3 chip instead, but he declined to mention which chip the new machine will feature in this newsletter. I honestly can't see Apple just announce an M3 chip in a new iMac via a press release, but but I suppose crazier things have happened. Uh, German also noted that Apple retail stores are now in short supply of the iMac, the 13 inch MacBook Pro and the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. And so many configurations now will not arrive until mid November. And what he believes is a clear sign that something is about to happen, at least regarding these three machines. And it makes sense for two of them, uh, because if you don't remember, we actually did just get M2 Pro and M2 Max 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros in the very beginning beginning of the year. And so it feels unlikely that Apple would update these again less than one year later. But again, crazier things have happened and it's not inconceivable. Now, there doesn't seem to be a physical launch event happening with, you know, members of the media going to Apple Park, to check out the new machines, or at least not something that we're hearing. And so when I say event, I mean like a press release type event. Apple's done this in the past. They kind of drop a few things during the week via press release. And Mark Gurman believes that this will happen on Monday, October 30th or Tuesday, October 31st. And then I believe on the second Apple has its earning calls. So we're probably going to get those if these happen a little bit before that. It's also worth noting that none of these new Macs will receive any major changes other than just new processors and perhaps some minor improvements to displays. And lastly, if you're waiting for a new M3 MacBook Air, that apparently won't happen until early 2024. And for those like myself clamoring for a larger 32 inch iMac, perhaps a pro based 32 inch iMac that apparently has been tabled for late 24 or even carrying into 2025. So what do you think about the possibility of this Mac event taking place in as little as I guess next week? Uh, are you going to pick up any of the rumored Macs? I guess it would be the iMac and perhaps we could see a refreshed 13 inch MacBook Pro and even crazier and updated 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro. Go ahead and let me know down in those comments. Before we end this video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, Papercut. Now, do you remember that unicorn at the start of this video? It actually comes from a video that's doing the rounds at the moment from Papercut Software. Never heard of Papercut? Here's the thing. If you ever went to school, you probably used Papercut because their software is used in thousands of schools around the world to manage their print environment. And it's not just education. Papercut software is used in every workplace you can imagine and in every country, even Antarctica. So what's the point of Papercut? Why would you want to know about this? Well, you can have a lot of benefits from this software, but I'll name a couple of things. So you can improve print and data security by securing infrastructure around who can print, what they can print, et cetera. It saves on printing costs and the environment by utilizing features like Print Deploy, which helps administrators easily and automatically deploy printer drivers and print queues. And it easily enables bring your own device printing. So you can print from any mobile device, regardless of any platform or any computer, regardless of platform. So if you haven't figured it out by now, it's also extremely compatible with Mac OS and iOS. So visit the link down below for more information on Papercut and learn how to try it out for yourself today. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.